Hello everyone. This video is about creating pages uh, and using the Visual Composer on the Samba theme. So let's create a new page straight away. And uh, let's for now let's just leave it empty. Let's publish it and let's go and add it to our menu. Add to menu and uh, similarly to other pages and uh, what I told you before, let's give it a custom color and uh, I'm going to use this color for instance. Okay, and let's save our menu and uh, we should have a new button here underneath. My internet is a bit slow today. Okay, so let's go to our new page. Okay, here it is. It's empty, and, but it's already here. So let's go back to our page. And the first thing I, I wanted to tell you is a, a little bit about the page templates that, that the theme offers. So you have two blog pages. Uh, you have the, the um, contact page, the full screen layout page, that I already spoke about and three portfolio pages and um, as for default pages uh, or pages that you can add any content you have the WordPress default page we have the page classic layout and the page with sections and um, I'm going to tell you about these three pages the default template uh, is the usual WordPress page and it only has this option to show or hide the sidebar and uh, because the theme has more options to offer to the normal page, I created the page with the classic layout. This page is, is exactly the same as the default page, but it has more options. Uh, it's important for me to keep the, the, um, uh, the, the WordPress default page only with that option, especially because of WooCommerce integration. So um, if you want more options here, and we'll go through them in a minute, um, just use the page with classic layout or like I told you the page with sections and the difference between the page with classic layout and page with sections um, is that with a page with sections you can have these sections that have a, a background that goes across the whole the whole page and does not stop here at the border so because we are going to try and mimic this page um, let's say right away that we want to use a page with sections Okay, so the first element on this page is a, a slideshow on top, and as you can see, we don't have any, any title. So, I already have here the option to hide the page title, and let's uh, say also that we want to use um, a slideshow. Once again, I already have that option here, but uh, you just have to come here and say, it was like this before, and um, so let's say that we want to use a flex slider, or the theme slider, how you want to call it. Um, let's say that we want to autoplay the slideshow and set up a delay and once again associate the group to this uh, slider. Okay, so let's update our page and let's see how it looks. So our title is gone and uh, we have here only our slider for now. Um, the next thing we have here is a title and um, some services below. So I'm just going to copy this part of the of the text and add a row and let's add a style title. It's aligned on center. It doesn't have any special color. The size is large. You can use also italic font if you want. Uh, we want to show that line under title. And uh, this is uh, this has to do with the margins after the title. Sometimes you might want some extra margin or not. I think. For in this case, it's it's um, it's good to have some margin, so let's keep that option as it is, and let's refresh our page. Okay, our title is here, but it's uh, kind of glued to the um, to the slideshow. So let's just add an extra row here and put it here on top. Okay, and um, next to the title, we have some services, and um, let's. Put it, put them here. So we are going to append to this column another row, and uh, this row shows 
three columns with services. So here it is. And now let's add a service. Uh, here it is. I'm going to copy just this this first um, title. Um, we can uh, add some images or some icons. I'm going to use an icon here and uh, it's, it will be centered like it is on the preview and the content is here. Okay, no background color. Um, I don't know if we have here some read more. No, we don't have that information. So no need to place a new URL link underneath the, um, the service. So let's save. Let's see how it's looking at this moment. Okay, so now we have here some space on the title and we, al we already have here our first service. So I'm just going to copy this twice and put one here and the other here. Update. And uh, as you can see, it's as easy as this uh, creating stuff with a um, uh, with, uh, visual composer. So I had one row of services on the preview, we had two. So I'm just going to say I want to clone this row, update, and once again, very easy, uh, two rows of services. Okay, what's the next element that we have here? We have here is a portfolio, uh, posts, widget. And once again, our style title. So I'm going to I'm going to actually duplicate this whole row because we already have here our title. I'm going to erase these um, these two elements, and so we already have here our style style title. Sorry, and our latest work. Okay, so I, now I'm going to add the um, portfolio element. And I'm going to say that it's this one, latest portfolio. Um, what I have there is a grid because they all have the same size. Um, I can decide here if I want to show the skills or not. I think I'm showing them here. Yeah, here they are. And um, this is if you want to show only some works, you can you you should place here the the um, the skills associated I'm going to leave this blank because I, I want to show all of the works I have here and uh, I want to show that filter on top of the thumbnails and I, let's say that I want to show uh, nine items I don't I don't think I have all of them all of those here on the um, on this sample and the columns number three columns the margin it's one on the preview and also that button to jump to portfolio and you can set it up here. Sorry. And um, the URL, I'm just going to put this one here, but okay. So let's refresh our page again. Okay, so now we have here our portfolio um, element. Um, it's looking weird, this image, but it has to do with the images I'm using on the, on the preview. But um, this is how we add this element. So what's next? Uh, we have here two, um, here is a text block and here we have um, a block code. So once again, I'm going to copy this content and uh, I'm going to add an extra row here on the bottom. And I'm going to duplicate it because I'll need another one in a few minutes. So uh, the layout, it's like this, okay, and um, we have a style title again, sorry, this is a text, the style title says we love design, it's aligned to the left, it's not large, it's medium, I think, I think it's like this, and underneath the style title, let's add a text block. And um, here's the text I brought from the website. So now here on the right side, let's copy this title and uh, use it here so that it has the same styling. And uh, our clients say, OK. So let's add our block code here. I'm just going to grab the text. Actually, I think it's without the 
codes, yes, okay, uh, so add a block code, the author, something here, this is the text after the author name, the content, I got it here, so the block code type, that one is a color, is with colored background, let's save and update again. Um, so here's our page, block of text and a block code. And now finally, we only have this extra element, it's called the call to action uh, button. So we have here already a, a row. Let's add this, um, where is it, sorry, call to action button, okay. And uh, the text, I already have it here. Here's the title, and um, the background color in this case it's for the section. I'll show you, it's not for the button itself because, we, like I told you before, it will occupy the whole width. Um, the text alignment uh, is centered, everything is centered. So, center text on button on button. I'm just going to change it the URL. Um, the the theme button type it's it's like this but you can you have other buttons that you can use there no icon size I think it's big the button is also on on the button is on bottom and it's center so save update okay we should have here now our button without the background color. So here it is. So now, just to finish, let's um, select here a color. Uh, it can be this, sorry, this gray. And uh, like what I want to tell you is that is that you have to, instead of editing the button, you have to edit the whole row. So click here. And uh, the background size, you say that it's full width. Uh, use normal margin on bottom. No, we don't want any margin because it's it's uh, the last element of this page. The background color, I already have it here. Sorry, here. And um, we, you can also use a pattern or an image on the background. Also, with the image, uh, you can it will be gener uh, generate a parallax effect effect if you want and. Um, so this is the text color and text alignment doesn't matter in this case. Update and refresh. And here's our background color. So sorry for the long uh, video, but uh, there's a lot of um, questions usually. So I think this was clear enough. And um, drop me an email if you have any further questions about this. Thank you very much for watching.